Hi, my name is Nathan, and welcome to The Daily Word. On today's episode of The Daily Word, we'll be in Luke chapter 24, verses 2 and 3. Let's read the scripture together on the count of three. One, two, three. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. Our daily word for today is the word entered. Let's say this word together, entered. So what does the word entered mean? Well, basically to enter somewhere means to come in. So for example, if you enter the building, it means you come into the building. You were outside, now you're in. You come in to the building, you entered the building. And you can use that uh, with other examples on your own. You can think of entering a car, entering the bus, entering the house. There are a lot of different examples, but basically enter or to enter means to come in. You went from outside to inside. So now that we have a basic understanding of the word entered, let's put it back into the scripture. Our topic sentence for today is this, the body was not there. Let's say this together. The body was not there. In this verse, we see that the body of Jesus was not in the tomb. The stone that was at the front, at the entrance of the tomb, was rolled away, and the body was not there. This is the culmination of the entire scriptures and the gospel. This is Christianity. Without this, without this daily word, conversation about this topic sentence, there is no Christianity, there is no daily word, um, there is no Bible, there is no Christianity, there is none of this, it all disappears, it's like a house of cards, take one card away, there is no more house. The body was not there. The body, the physical body that was tortured and murdered on the cross and buried, you know, the body was there, they could feel it. They carried it, they put it in the tomb, and then they locked up the tomb. The stone was rolled away, and there was no body. The body was not there. This means that what Jesus said would happen, happened. It means that who he said he was, was true. Without this, without the absence of the body, everything he said should be disregarded. Everything should be thrown out. But because there was no body, and he did what he said he would do, that is the stamp of approval that he is who he says he is. He is the Christ. He is the Messiah. He is the one that has been pointed to throughout all of Scripture that will redeem humanity and that will pay the sacrifice and pay the debt for collective sin in this world and will bring back the created human being, to the living Father, to God, because the body was not there. And not only was the body not there then, but the body has never been found, and it never will be found. Every year you will hear about some other uh, person in the world, or some other dig, or some person saying that they have found the body. But it always comes out as something that is not the Lord Jesus. It's something that cannot be verified. And it's something that always ends up being a false alarm. Because the body was not there because he was resurrected. He showed himself to people in the bodily form and in the spiritual form after he was resurrected. There will never be a body that's been found because it went with him. It ascended into heaven after being with the disciples and showing himself to people in that area. And now we have his Holy Spirit with us, guiding us. But the body was not there. That is where your whole faith rests on. Do you believe that the body was not there? Because if the body was not there, several things. It means that Jesus is who he says he is, and he is Lord. He is the King that we are going to answer to. Second, it means that death has been overcome. It means that all the things that you feel burdened by, all the things that you feel threatened by, death 
and the temporary nature of this world has been broken through. And in Jesus, you have eternity. In Jesus, you have eternal joy, eternal strength. You have the ability to overcome certain things in this world by the power of the name of Jesus in service and obedience to him. The body was not there. That means the most that there is hope. In a world that often seems hopeless, there is hope eternal in Jesus because the body was not there. Well, that does it for today's episode of The Daily Word. If you like this video or you found it helpful, go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below and maybe try to use this word in your daily life. Use the word enter in your daily life. But in the context of the scripture, remember, the body was not there. Death has been swallowed up in the victory of Jesus and there is eternal hope in Jesus and he is the one. He is the Christ. Well, my name is Nathan and this was your daily word. See you next time.